Welcome back, YouTube. It was stressful. It came down to the final game, but we made it. The Red Wings have snuck in to the playoffs for the first time in seven seasons. They will play the Carolina Hurricanes. The veteran Patrick Kane was the leader for the Red Wings during the regular season. Who will be the leader for Detroit in these playoffs? They will go to Rally where they will take on the Carolina Hurricanes, a team well-versed. The Red Wings are going to have to play their best hockey. It was not the best for Detroit down the stretch. One and six over their final I'm sorry, one in five over their final six games of the season. The one win just enough to squeak them in and land them in a game here in rally round number one. What we're going to do for this playoff action is we are going to take you through this first game as it's the Red Wings' first playoff game. And then after that, we're just going to bring to you the elimination games. So it might just be one and done. We may have two or three, but we will bring you the elimination games after this one as Huso makes his first stop in this hockey game. Five minutes gone by. No score. It's center ice. Moritz Sider takes a hit as he gets it in deep behind the Carolina goal line. Seth Jarvis in his own end for the Hurricanes. Circles back. The wings in the midst of a line change. Dabrinkit now on for Detroit. Gains the line. His shot stopped a rebound. That comes out and Carolina will head down ice. Bunting across the wings line. Out front. Nice stick lift by Comfer. It's three on two the other way for the Red Wings. Raymond, his shot off a leg and wide. Perron behind the net. Raymond now circling. Wallman with a rip. That stopped into the corner. The Hurricanes bunting. Gives it away. Another attempt. Just wide and out of play. A big one-timer from JT Comfer. The Red Wings have their Hurricanes on their heels early. Detroit's come to play. As we've just reached the halfway point in this first period. No score and a penalty coming to the Red Wings. Daniel Sprong with a trip. Carolina will see the first power play in this series. Sprong, a little overzealous, not a necessary penalty to take with your team pressuring, but Carolina now a chance to swing momentum in their favor. Tervinen. Nitches walking in. Huso with the stop. Carolina circling. Burns just misses. Quick puck movement. Aho in front. Kicks it back out. Svechnikov. The Hurricanes. Quick puck movement on this power play. Behind the wings net. Out to the blue line. Burns with another shot. Huso will hang on and cover it. Very, very fast puck movement by the Carolina Hurricanes. They're moving the puck east to west, north and south, getting the Red Wings defenders running all over the ice. A much needed whistle for Detroit as that kind of defense tires you right out. Carolina keeps their top power play unit on the ice. Svechnikov. Tervinen walking in and he scores. That's the first goal of this series. It's Tuvo Tervinen on the power play. A perfect pass from Svechnikov. Tervinen goes untouched through the middle of the ice. One on one with Huso beating him on the stick side. The hometown Carolina Hurricanes. Assisted by Svechnikov and Aho. Teravinen's first, a one to nothing lead, a costly penalty 
by Daniel Sprong has his team behind early. Mata for Detroit. Comfort looking to strike back. Anderson with an easy save hangs on for a faceoff in the hurricane's end. Comfort, Perron, and Raymond for the Red Wings. One back. Hull with a shot. That's stopped. Kokanyemi gets the rebound and Carolina fast up ice. Out front, Kokanyemi walks in and they score. Martinuk. Jordan Martinuk on the rebound. Again, quick puck movement. It actually was a pass. I thought it was a shot at first look. A nice quick pass perfectly on the stick of Martinuk who was alone behind the Red Wings defenders. Coke Kanyemi makes no mistake on the pass. Fast led the rush up ice. Detroit is going to be penalized once again. Another trip this time. Patrick Kane at the Red Wings blue line. Kane gets the stick out on stall. Not the start to this game the Red Wings wanted. They've already surrendered a power play goal. They just gave up a second goal in this hockey game. And now Carolina with a two to nothing lead goes to work once again. Big hit by Sider. The Red Wings still cannot get the puck out of their end. Now Valeno will skate it up through center. Taking off his stick, Jarvis is hit hard by Moritz Sider. Another big hit by the big man for the Red Wings. Carolina working this puck through center, finally into the wing zone. Kokanyemi is open. Oh, he was left all alone to walk in on Vili Huso. And it looked like Jeff Petrie got his stick on it. Rolling the puck in and who's so able to cover it up with no damage. But that's the third time that Carolina has had a rushing player right through the slot. Detroit able to avoid disaster that time. Orlov with a minute to go on the power play. Another late man, here's Ajo through the middle, he scores. Sebastian Ajo, if you give a skilled player like Sebastian Ajo that much room, he is not gonna make a mistake and he buries that one. Watch this, the Red Wings man to man, but Ajo coming late, Comfer cannot stay with him. And Aho buries it for his first of the postseason. Svechnikov and Orloff get the assist. Second power play goal in this period for Carolina. Their third goal. The Red Wings find themselves in a huge hole. Not the way you want to start this hockey game. It's gone from bad to worse for Detroit. They need to make something happen, something positive before the end of this first period. A giveaway, Svechnikov alone. Backhanded stop. Comfer for the Red Wings, the final minute in period one. Raymond alone off the post. Oh, you need to bury that one. Off the post and out. Lucas Raymond with the best look Detroit's had in a while. This period will end in rally. The Carolina Hurricanes, three. The Detroit Red Wings, nothing. The Red Wings were outshot eight to four in that first period. They lost the special teams battle. Carolina, two for two on the power play. Costly penalties by Daniel Sprung and Patrick Kane. The Hurricanes made them pay 
It's Carolina now. Burns walking in from the blue line, giving it away. Kane one on one the other way. He's lined up by Slavin. Turns the puck over at the Hurricanes line, but once again, Larkin in. He gives it away. Teravinen and the Hurricanes start out. Svechnikov is dumped by Dabrinkit. This is the third tripping minor to the Red Wings in this hockey game, and we've only played 23 minutes. Alex Dabrinkit hauls down Andrei Svechnikov. In this Carolina power play that's already two for two will go back to work. It only took them one shot on their last power play attempt. Turvinen's blast from the point. Kicked away. Kokkenyemi behind the goal line. He works it out. Turvinen pushed off the puck by Valeno. Getting the puck out to center. The Canes right back in. Sider takes it away, clears it to the line. Not out. Burns with a big hold in. He's got it once again. Jarvis gives it away. Valeno is dumped. And the call on Brent Burns for tripping. The fourth tripping minor of this hockey game. First for Carolina. Burns working hard to keep the puck in at the blue line. Not allowing Valeno to skate out with it. Hauls him down. So we will be four on four for the next minute 21. Where Detroit then will go to work on an abbreviated power play. Trying to keep the puck in. Larkin hard on the forecheck. Wrapping it around. Out to the line. Sider's shot doesn't get through. Out to the line, Sider holds it in, Larkin, his double pump shot goes wide. On the power play now is Detroit, they turn it over. Carolina will send it the length of the ice. Gostas Bear for Detroit, 20 seconds. In the power play for the Red Wings. Sprong with a nice move to gain the Carolina line. Pesci gets it up, Comfer holds it in, he's knocked off the puck. Slavin for Carolina will clear it. The penalty to Burns will expire. We're at, at full strength. Five on five action, 13 minutes to play. Three to nothing, Carolina with the lead. Game one of this Eastern Conference first round matchup between the Hurricanes and the Red Wings. Teravinen and Netches. At their own blue line. Coke Kanyemi fresh off the bench into the wing zone. He sends it out to the point. That shot is stopped by Huso. He will hang on a dangerous pass at the blue line, almost picked off by Daniel Sprong, and he would have been all alone. Heading in on Frederick Anderson. There's a blast, and they score. The fourth different goal scorer in this hockey game for the Hurricanes. A one-timer from the middle of the circle right at the dot. Coke Kanyemi blasts it over the glove hand side of Vili Huso, Giving the Hurricanes a 4-0 lead just shy of the halfway mark of this hockey game. Martinuk set him up. Coke Kanyemi's first of the postseason. 4 0 Carolina. The Canes pressuring in the wing zone again on the forecheck. Detroit will start out with it. Rasmussen back to Valeno off a leg and wide. Petrie is in. He scores. Jeff. Petrie for the Red Wings. He was given quite a bit of time right in the slot. And he risked this one by Freddie Anderson. That's one Anderson would like to have back. Out by the top of the circle. He could see it all the way and Petrie blows it by him. Fisher and Valeno. The assist, Petrie in again, a shot, a rebound to break it, he scores! 
back-to-back -back goals by the Red Wings. This time it's Dabrinkit, and it was the goal scorer, Petrie, leading the rush. He gets right between the Canes defenders, gets the shot off Dabrinkit, following it up to the net, just squeaks it by the short side off the pad of Anderson into the top of the net. Two quick goals by the Red Wings, gets them within two. Larkin picked up the secondary assist. That's the sixth different goal scorer we've had in this hockey game. Four for Carolina, two for Detroit. There's a shot, the Hurricanes right back in, and that's a goal, he scored. I was waiting for the referee's signal on that. I was not sure if Stahl kicked it. It doesn't look like he touched it from that angle. Burns with the shot. Reimer, who's now in net, makes the save. It goes off of Wallman's skate right there and finds its way into the net. That's a heartbreaker for the Wings. They had just strung two quick goals together. Now they'll find themselves down by three. Unassisted goal, Brent Burns, the seventh different goal scorer in this hockey game. Lemieux across, Burns over a one-time blast, a rebound. Reimer with two huge saves as Carolina looked to score quickly. Fabry behind the net with it, Sprung out to the line, Petrie. Fabry's gonna get a shot, that's blockered away by Anderson. Burns up the right wing side through center. Lemieux has it knocked off his stick. The Canes are changing. Cop cross ice. Wallman carries it for the Red Wings. Sprong under a minute to go. Wallman with a pass to Fabry shot, a rebound. Nice job by Fast to get there first. Slavin carries it into the wings end. One more attempt, that almost gets through. Fast, a rebound, it's in, he scores. Jesper Fast, his first of the postseason. James Reimer was scrambling. I believe that went off the stick of Sider who was trying to clear it. Perfectly onto the tape of Fast. And he makes no mistake for the Hurricanes' sixth goal of this hockey game. Slavin and Martinuk get the assist. Detroit will head to the third period, trailing Carolina six to two. Things look bright for a short time for the Red Wings as they scored two quick goals to pull within two and make it a 4-2 hockey game. But that glimmer of hope dissipated very quickly as Carolina answered back with two of their own, including a crushing goal with just four seconds left in the second period to retake a four-goal lead. We've had eight goals in this hockey game by eight different goal scorers. Burns picks that off of Dabrinkit's stick. Aho, he gets through the wings defense and Larkin Able to lift his stick, start it back the other way for his team. Down but not out are the Red Wings. There's still enough time to get back in this hockey game, but they need one here early. Gostas Bear walking in, knocked off his stick. Good defensive play by Slavin. The Hurricanes, Nitches. His shot does not get through. Bunting. Over to Nitschus in the slot. Reimer with a glove save will hang on. Forcing the face off in the Detroit end. It seems like every time Carolina puts the puck on net, it could go in. They are getting grade A scoring opportunities and they're getting a lot on their shots. There's another one from the slot. Another glove save from James Reimer. And another face-off in the Red Wing zone. 6-2 our score. 
favor of Carolina. 12 minutes remaining in game one. Perron, he has the puck knocked off his stick. Carolina, they know how to play a nice, tight, checking hockey game, and they're in shutdown mode right now. And another attempt redirected in front by Jarvis. He's bumped off the puck by Wallman as we're under 10 to play in this final period. Petrie, Raymond with a blast. That stopped Orlov. And the Hurricanes, Pesci behind his own net. He's knocked off the puck by Comfer. Fast then knocked off the puck. The Wings quickly getting back up ice. Petrie, he has a goal tonight. He stops. Fabrian, his shot is stopped. Anderson's going to keep this alive as the Hurricanes work it out through center. A big shot steered away by James Reimer. Five and a half to go. Third period, the Red Wings running out of time in this one. Fabry knocked off the puck at center. Detroit changing once again. Both teams now getting fresh legs on the ice. Sprong, he's hit hard by Sky. Out front, Gostisbehere. Over to Sprong. Sider has it taken away. Sky now. Over to Tervinen, his shot. Stopped by Reimer. 149 to play. We will have a face off once again in the Detroit zone. Detroit, the end of this game cannot come fast enough. Once again, Svechnikov scores for the Canes. The Hurricanes win the face off. Quick, precise puck movement, and for good measure, one more, Andre Svechnikov. He becomes the ninth different goal scorer in this hockey game. It's now 7-2. to Tervinen and Sky with the assist on the Hurricanes goal. Tervinen sends it in deep and gives chase. The Red Wings Joe Valeno plays it out in front. That almost took a funny bounce off of Reimer. Wouldn't that have been something? He's able to corral it and hang on for another faceoff in the Red Wings end. This time Rasmussen wins it. Sider. Valeno through center. Fisher has it knocked off his stick. Takeaways in this one. Detroit. They have to watch the transition game. Stay out of penalty trouble because Carolina made them pay early on. And they have to do a better job getting into the passing lanes as the Hurricanes with quick puck movement and capitalizing on good quality scoring chances have taken game one and take the series lead in this first round matchup by the final score, seven to two. We will see you back here from Carolina for game number two as the Red Wings look to get their first playoff win in seven seasons. The final from Rally, Carolina seven, Detroit two.